Now let's take a look at learning objective 2-2, bar charts. So a bar chart in your textbook is described as a graph that shows qualitative, remember that means non-numeric classes, on the horizontal axis and the class frequencies on the vertical axis. The class frequencies are proportional to the heights of the bars. So a bar graph is unique in that there is a gap. Uh, and the gap is there because the variable of interest is qualitative. So an example, let's make a bar chart showing the grades of Mr. Bowser's algebra students. This is the example that we just did for the frequency table. You could either be given, if you look here, you could either be given or you could be given the frequency table to create your bar chart. So let's go ahead and get started with our bar chart. Does it have to be perfect if you're drawing it by hand? No, just try and be as neat as possible so that anyone would be able to read it. So we are going to follow exactly what we have over here with our frequency table and we are going to label everything. These are our grades. And then over here are our number of students. A, B, C, D, and F. And then over here for number of students, if you look back over here, we can kind of decide what we want to do. I think we might as well just go because we don't have that many. Six is our highest frequency. So I think we can just go ahead. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six. They are approximately evenly spaced. No, they are not perfect, but if you're doing it by hand, then just do it as neatly as you can. Okay, here we go. So now we are ready to go ahead and get started. So A has three. Let's see if I can get this to work. A has three. B has six. That looks good. C has four. D and F each have one. And there you have our bar chart.